somewhere beyond the edge of our solar system, in a realm where sunlight is just a whisper and space stretches cold and infinite. A spacecraft built decades ago has done something no one expected. It woke up. After years of silence and uncertainty, NASA engineers have managed to revive the dormant thrusters of Voyager, one of humanity's most distant ambassadors. It's as if a whisper from the past suddenly reached us across 15 billion miles. A signal. A heartbeat. And, for a brief moment, we were speaking again with a machine born in the 1970s, still faithfully drifting through interstellar space. This isn't just a technical achievement. It's a moment that feels almost spiritual, like calling out to a long-lost explorer and hearing them answer through the cosmic void. In this video, we'll explore how NASA pulled off this stunning revival, why the Voyager thrusters failed in the first place, what this means for humanity's oldest interstellar mission, and what Voyager might still discover before its final signal fades into silence. Launched in 1977, the Voyager 1 spacecraft was never meant to survive this long or travel this far. Originally designed for a five-year mission to study Jupiter and Saturn, it has now become the most distant human-made object in existence, floating more than 15 billion miles from Earth. It's traveling through the uncharted territory of interstellar space where the solar wind fades and cosmic radiation reigns. Out here, communication is slow, faint, and incredibly fragile. Signals take over 22 hours to reach Earth one way. And yet, Voyager still speaks. Barely. For decades, it has sent back priceless data, whispering to us about the structure of the heliosphere, the boundary of our solar system, and the mysteries beyond. But recently, something changed. The tiny pulses from Voyager's thrusters, essential for orienting its antenna toward Earth, began to fail. Engineers noticed erratic signals and weakening transmissions, triggering a wave of concern. Without working thrusters, Voyager wouldn't be able to maintain contact. It would drift, lose alignment, and fall silent forever. This wasn't just a technical issue. It was the looming death of a legendary explorer. And for months, engineers wrestled with the chilling possibility that the mission might soon end. Then came a moment of unprecedented hope. A command sent. Across billions of miles sparked a response that hadn't happened in nearly four decades. The dormant backup thrusters, unused since 1980, came to life. It was a first in the history of spaceflight. A spacecraft beyond the solar system responding to a resurrection call from Earth. To understand what happened with Voyager's thrusters, we need to step back and look at how this spacecraft actually functions. Imagine Voyager as a distant, drifting ship in a dark ocean, with a small, carefully aimed radio antenna being the only lifeline back to Earth. Keeping that antenna locked on us across 15 billion miles requires precision. Tiny adjustments that are made using small rocket-like devices called thrusters. These thrusters fire in quick bursts to rotate the spacecraft just slightly, keeping it aligned. Over time, though, Voyager's primary thrusters began to degrade. Think of it like trying to steer a bicycle with rusted handlebars. They still turn, but not reliably. NASA engineers noticed that the signals from Voyager were growing weaker and more erratic. That's because the antenna was slowly drifting out of alignment. With the main thrusters failing, they faced a terrifying possibility. Once communication was lost, there would be no way to regain it. But deep inside the spacecraft's memory, there was a forgotten backup system, a secondary set of thrusters called the Trajectory Correction Maneuver, TCM, thrusters. These hadn't been used since Voyager's planetary flybys in the early Sioux 1980s. Firing up a dormant system after nearly four decades isn't as easy as flipping a switch. NASA had to send a command sequence, written in an outdated programming language across billions of miles. It took nearly a day for the command to even reach Voyager. Then, silence. Hours passed. And finally, data came trickling back. The TCM thrusters had fired. Voyager had listened. 
Against staggering odds, the spacecraft corrected its course using thrusters no one had expected to ever use again. This incredible feat reminds us how engineering, physics, and human determination intersect. The vacuum of space, with its radiation, freezing temperatures, and complete isolation, is unforgiving. Yet Voyager survived. And not only that, it adapted. Tools like NASA's Deep Space Network, a massive global system of antenna arrays, picked up those faint signals, proving once again that even across the cosmic deep, our technology can whisper to the stars. And sometimes they whisper back. When it comes to Voyager, we're not just watching a live event. We're looking back in time. Every command we send takes over 22 hours to reach the spacecraft, and another 22 hours for a reply to come back. That means when we received confirmation that the backup thrusters fired, it had already happened nearly a full day earlier. In a way, it's like listening to an echo from the past. That's the reality of deep space exploration, where distance stretches time and every moment is delayed by the vastness between us. But this delayed timeline doesn't just apply to spacecraft. It's how we see the entire universe. Light from stars, galaxies, and distant events takes years, centuries, even millennia to reach us. So when something extraordinary happens, like a supernova, we might not witness it until long after it's occurred. The same principle applies to Voyager. Though it's still functioning now, by the time we learn of its final signal, it may have already gone silent days or even weeks earlier. And yet, this delay adds to the mystery and drama. It reminds us that space is not only vast, but timeless. The end of Voyager won't come with a loud bang or a fiery explosion. But symbolically, when it finally stops transmitting, it will feel like the dimming of a star, a quiet fade into the infinite. For a brief moment in cosmic history, we'll know we reached farther than ever before. And then we'll wait for the last whisper to fade. While Voyager won't explode in the traditional sense, its final moments will carry a symbolic weight that feels just as profound. Imagine this. You step outside on a quiet night, look up at the stars, and somewhere out there, far beyond the reach of any telescope, a tiny machine built by human hands quietly slips into silence. There won't be a flash of light or a burst of color in the sky, but for those of us who followed its journey, the moment will feel monumental. It will be like watching a candle flicker in the dark for the very last time. But let's play with the idea. If Voyager could explode, like a dying star, it would be a cosmic event unlike anything we've seen. Imagine a brilliant burst of light piercing the blackness, so bright it outshines the stars. For days, maybe even weeks, it would hang in the sky like a second moon, visible even in daylight. People around the world would gather in awe, eyes lifted, connected by a shared sense of wonder and disbelief. We'd be witnessing a story decades in the making, a final message from the edge of the solar system. Even though the real end of Voyager will be quiet, its emotional impact will echo for generations. It's a reminder of what we can achieve, what we dare to reach for, and what it means to leave behind a piece of ourselves in the stars. Voyager's journey may not end in a fiery explosion, but its significance for science is just as dazzling. This tiny spacecraft, now drifting beyond the edge of our solar system, is a time capsule of human curiosity. Every byte of data it sends is like a message in a bottle from the deep sea of space, offering clues about the solar wind, interstellar, particles, and the structure of the cosmic neighborhood we're only beginning to understand. It's the first time we've touched interstellar space, not with our hands, but with our minds and machines. Now, in the grander cosmic sense, when stars truly die, especially the massive ones, they go out in spectacular fashion, supernovae, and even more powerful events like neutron star collisions create unimaginable energy. In those final violent moments, the universe forges heavy elements, gold, platinum, uranium, 
atoms that would never exist without these stellar deaths. Everything we value on Earth, from wedding rings to the fuel in nuclear reactors, was born in the collapse and chaos of ancient stars. Even we, our bones, blood, and breath, are made of these recycled star remnants. As Carl Sagan famously said, we are made of star stuff. Voyager, in its silence, becomes part of that cycle, too, a man-made messenger sent into the same cosmos that gave us life. When we study stars like Antares or V.Y. Canis Majoris, we're not just learning about their end. We're looking into our origins. Voyager reminds us that the universe doesn't just create stars and planets. It creates meaning, and in our effort to understand it, we become part of its story. Though the idea of cosmic explosions can sound frightening, it's important to know that Earth is perfectly safe from Voyager's final fate, or from any similar stellar event happening so far away. Even the most powerful supernovae are light years away, and their effects on our planet are minimal. At most, we might see beautiful natural light shows, like enhanced auroras dancing near the poles, caused by increased ionization in our atmosphere. These shimmering curtains of light are harmless, and actually a reminder of the incredible forces at work in our universe. Scientists also have incredible tools to keep watch on the cosmos. Neutrino Detectors Deep underground observatories designed to catch elusive particles can sense the earliest signals of a star's final moments long before the explosion's light reaches us. This gives astronomers a valuable heads-up, like a cosmic early warning system, allowing telescopes around the world to prepare for the show. So, while these events are awe-inspiring and sometimes dramatic, they pose no threat to our daily lives. Instead, they offer a window into the powerful, ongoing story of our universe, one we're lucky to witness from a safe distance. We're witnessing the final breath of a giant, a farewell millions of years in the making. Voyager's Quiet Journey Beyond our solar system is more than just the story of a spacecraft. It's a testament to human curiosity, resilience, and the deep connection we share with the cosmos. As it drifts farther into the vast darkness, it carries with it the hopes and dreams of generations who dared to reach beyond the confines of our tiny world. When we look up at the night sky, we are reminded of how small we are, and yet how much we have achieved. The universe stretches out before us, vast and mysterious, filled with stars that have lived and died long before we ever walked the earth. Time itself seems to bend in that cosmic expanse where light travels across billions of years to meet our eyes. But amid that immensity, every story matters, including ours. Voyager's journey invites us to keep looking up, to never stop asking questions, and to remember that the universe is full of hidden wonders waiting to be discovered. So tonight, as you gaze into the stars, remember... We are part of this grand, unfolding story, a story that is far from over. If you found this story fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your support helps us continue exploring the wonders of space.